staying in the boxing. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. And oh, if they're it's, both you amazing. know, I have Netflix, so it's going to be free. I'll watch it. But I mean, I know, I know it's going to be a boar fest. And so I, I, I'm not a fan of the boring shit. Welcome to the Blunt Lab. I am Al, joined by my brothers Marcus, Sean, Rick, and Matt. Yep. What's going on, fellas? How much? It's good to be back. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I've had some Super things going Tuesday, on. Super Tuesday, bitches. We back. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. But uh, before we get into the agenda, I just wanted to touch on one thing before it just fades away, and that is Monarch, the oh. Legacy of Monsters. Your grandparents, they created something extraordinary. They were fearless enough to believe that the world is so much more vast than we could possibly imagine. What's Monarch? Monsters are an inescapable reality that we must learn to survive. You knew these things existed? This is your legacy. Fuck yeah. I won't go too deep into it, but uh, Kirk and his son are fucking phenomenal on this show. The supporting cast are great. Just to give it a quick review, I give it four blunts. It's a great show. I recommend folks checking it out. Nice. It's on Apple TV. Give it a whirl. There is. No, there's something heavy. Ryan Garcia lately uh, has uh, been in the news. Or, that's good. I wouldn't say the news, social yeah. media. Um, he isn't saying anything that we haven't heard from other artists. You know, hopefully, you know, Orlando Brown's been saying this. Uh, Cat Williams has been saying this. I know I've uh -huh. been saying this forever, you know. Every time I would say it in my circle of friends, they'd be like, oh, no, nah, that's impossible. Those people couldn't have done those things, you know, blah, blah, blah. And here, here you have it. Sean and I have been signing talking. out for probably like yep. 15 years forever you know what i mean yeah. so yeah it's been floating around here you are mm -hmm. so here's this uh first video clip uh just i don't know what kind of i there's no viewer discretion there's really nothing to see all you're going to hear the screaming you're going to hear is children So yeah. You think you're hot shit, don't you? You think you're hot? Listen up. What's my fault? What's my name? What's my name? My other name. What do you call me? I am your father. From now on, you will call me your father. You shut up. I, you will call. No. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough for that. Is that the first time all of y'all have heard or yep. seen that? Yeah. So I don't know, know about the situation. That clip but... actually, and I purpose the first time back during around the time of the election with the QAnon stuff is when that came out and they were alleging a lot of the elite on the left were engaging in these acts. So they were saying that the voice behind it was John Podesta at the time and that's what they had linked it to. So yeah, I've seen that footage before and it's been floating around for oh. a bit. It's pretty disturbing. Yeah, I'm not a fan. At all. Well, that's good. That's you were. Ryan Garcia makes claims of seeing, you know, things uh, similar uh -huh. to that. Orlando Brown is definitely. 
<laughs> made mention to a lot. Now you know a lot, a lot, a lot of the, a lot of the shit he says. You know, you can, you know, a lot of folks do laugh at, but when you hear some of the personal things uh-huh. that he discusses, you can actually see in his face that he isn't lying. Some of the things Ryan Garcia is claiming to have seen. I mean, in truth, what does he have to gain in saying these things? Exactly. Well, well, anyone? We said it all. Same. Well, and here's the thing that I've noticed recently too, because. And now that we're doing kind of this, uh, you know, not so much streaming, but podcasting and, and getting on uh, social, I've been paying attention to what others do and this and that. And it seems like, um, you know, watching some of these streamers, some of these people that are really high influencers like Aiden Ross, and I'm not saying anything about these individuals in particular, but I know for a fact that they've been invited to some of these parties, to these, some of these all white parties in the Hamptons and things like that. They've talked about it. And there's actually people in their circles that talk about how they act different once they attend these parties. So I would say that that is the next level of celebrity. Dom. I mean, we're seeing it all the time. You're seeing all these people that you really wouldn't expect to see being followed around by paparazzi. They're talking about them on TMZ. So, I mean, they really are that next level of celebrity. And you know that they've went after the celebrities. There's been time and time again that we've heard that. So to think that it's beyond them to go after the influencers, which are affecting more of our youth, that's crazy. All day. Then it that's the, se- that's the scary little. part. The thing we got to be careful of, guys, um, is so what happens is I'm going to give two examples. One, in the 80s, alien movies. Two, Alex Jones. These are two examples of when certain information comes out. They want to create sort of like a smoke screen to make it look. Like, there is no way it can be real. They put this, like, extreme spin on it. So, like, once they knew certain things were going to come out about Epstein's Island and different things along that nature, Alex Jones all of a sudden started spouting it. This is, like, what, 12 years now? He, 12, 13 years, he started talking about Epstein's Island a year, you know, 13 years ago. So, point is, they take extreme examples. They let people like this, like this example with this guy, where... They want to start to shift the narrative or paint the narrative. So they'll take some information we're about to get and like I candy coat it. So we got to be careful. You know, Garcia might, I don't know. I feel like more would have happened to him if he had real info. Well, I mean, that's, you got to be careful. That's the, like, I know what he's talking about with the Alex Jones and things like that. Like there is paid opposition that goes out there and and muddies the water. Like when you have these, especially with conspiracy theories that end up being, you know, how many of them turned out to be conspiracy fact given time. So, I mean, they send these cats out, like, you know, the whole Pizzagate thing. We know to some extent that what we heard and what we know is true. To what extent they really muddied it because they got, I honestly don't think that it was somebody that was of that belief that went in and started shooting at, what was it, uh, play, a Comet Pizza? Like when they and started share Comet Pizza. Yeah, yeah, they started shooting places up and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Things like that detract from the real movement and the real idea behind it. So I wouldn't put it past them as much as they play this 5D chess and as much as they try to get ahead of the other side for them to put somebody within that message to make it look crazy. And they've done it time and time again. Sure. Yes. They have, yes, they have. And they've also gone out of their way to discredit rest people telling the truth. That's what I was about to say, man. Right like, with Ryan Garcia, the first thing they said was um, he was having a mental health issue. And that's their way to paint it. Yeah, that's the easy way to paint it to discredit it. You Yo, know? They did the same they did the same uh-huh. thing to Kanye West. They you know, as soon as he started spouting the truth, they had this motherfucker taking some pills, all of a sudden mm-hmm. he sounds crazy. Now you might then you have a I'm mm-hmm. sorry, bro. You might know better than me. Hasn't Ryan Garcia been like in the public eye for a long time? Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's super young. For a long time. Like, he's very young. But he's always up until he lost his yeah, up until he lost his fight to Gervonta, you know, he was undefeated. Mm-hmm. He was knocking people out. Yeah. You know. Um he's one of those fighters that, you know, he thanks God mm-hmm. over and over and again. And we've never heard him say anything like this before. You know what I mean? Like nothing ever controversial comes out of his mouth so i'm gonna say it like you said what does he have to gain from a lie or like you know any extra exposure like he's already big time and again most of these cats that are spouting a lot of this shit they've gone out of their way to discredit him oh they're on drugs oh he's suffering from mental health this this and that but cat mm-hmm. williams mm-hmm. most folks don't know 
has an IQ of 160. That is 160. Now, they can say I'm crazy all they want. Mm -hmm. My IQ is 163, and I get tested every six months. That's crazy. Okay. There's right, no the, mental health issue there. You can uh -oh. tell when you hear okay. him talk, when you listen to what he's talking about and the way that he oh, puts his thoughts in, he's so discreet. Uh -huh. it lets you in on yep. exactly what he's thinking, and that's why he's more believable than a lot of cats that come forward. Like, he's like, listen, mm -hmm. no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why his delivery yeah. is so... <laughs> It's, it, that it, and look, I can't of sense the attribute to why he's able to deliver direct uh, deliver the jokes like he does. Oh, mm -hmm. and when you look at when you look at some of these ritualistic things that they have folks doing, I mean, dude, the John is. Cena, case in point, right now in your face. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that was wild. That was wild. Okay. How often? How often does it start with a dress, a skirt, and a little success come? Oh, the Juju, Juju, uh, the wide receiver, Juju. Well, um, yeah, never won a ring, ain't won shit. They put him in a skirt. He gets a Super Bowl ring, then he gets traded. Yeah, Wang Fu. And if you, yeah, and if you know about those kind of circles, those cults, like, look, Nexium, that one that got busted for having the celebrities kind of, and they got busted for trafficking. Yeah. There's a lot of trafficking in that. What was that they had? Name? It was, yeah, with, uh, I forget his name, but the guy that was running it, and he had a bunch of celebrities coming in and recruiting other celebrities. That was part of what they spoke about as far as, like, there's a humiliation ritual. It's to get rid of the ego. And, you know, I mean, there's a lot of history behind that, but it is part of all of these Processes, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. When you hear these celebrities, the leaks talk about pizza parties, you know exactly what these motherfuckers are talking about. Better not be going to get no pizza. I, I, I know, I know. I've talked, obviously, Sean and I talked a great length of this, but with you three, how much of the quote unquote released documents from like Obama, Hillary, et cetera, et cetera, about the pizza party have you seen? Have you seen their messages when they order? And what the difference is between cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know, I know the differences. Water boys, little girls, you know, this, this, and that, uh, certain toppings. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. I mean, and, and they discuss it with you. It, dude, I remember um, Ellen. She had Adam Sandler on her show. Okay. They talk about Jennifer they Anderson's like, pizza. Je yeah, yeah like Jennifer Anderson's. She was like, well, you know, at the time she hosts the pizza parties, you know, I can never attend, but like, my God, those pizza parties are great. And she her can. parties are incredible at her yeah. house, too. Yeah. She does have good parties, and she makes good pizza as well. She makes great pizza, Wonder yes, yes. Wonderful pizza. They go, you know, they like, go really, really, just a couple of segments and, with her talking to other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, I'm, and you know, again, all of this is alleged because I don't want to get sued. But Of course. <laughs> we don't know nothing. We I'm a big, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I love The Rock. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big fan of The Rock. But he talks about pizza parties too, bro. Now it's hey, too late. And now. most of these motherfuckers have kids. You know what I'm saying? And we all know Oprah's a bad person. I'm not gonna say no legend or no. Oprah's just a bad person. You know, so I'm just I'm happy if you want to, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll Get stand her. on that one. She's just a bad person. But she, you know, she, she, I hope she, none of these things are. You know, that's true. I pray none of these things are true about the Rock, man, because that that would just. I mean, look and at his catapult, though. This, like, look at his catapult. I mean, like, you can kind of tell by their trajectory. Like, they'll be zero, flat out nothing, or even bad. They'll be bad at what they do. And then all of a sudden, they're, it's like what you had mentioned with dude. Like, they're just in the limelight. All of a sudden, you're like, why? Yeah, you don't make any sense. You got to understand, too. Sean and I, we were at the time when The Rock got his catapult within wrestling, was when we were very uh -huh. deep within, into wrestling. Okay, like yes. now with the child, That's the greatest he, error, right? We were, we were, and I'm not kidding here. Every single wrestling event from either one of the leagues, we were together all week long. Our big crew, like we wrestled on certain nights, this, that, and the third. Oh, we we watched Rock, <laughs> Rock got oh. like, kicked on, and then all of a sudden, he became Steve Austin. Attitude era catapulted him, and I think it's around oh, the same time too that Vince kind of got dark. Like they probably got into their witch shit. Allegedly, they probably got into their witch shit and all of that. 
around that time. I think the Attitude Era and Vince needing to take over Ted Turner and all of a sudden Ted Turner just bounces and WCW disappears like it does, gets sold. There is definitely an undertone of the devil there. Oh, it, it's everywhere. It oh, is it everywhere. I mean, look, look, look at guys like Adesanya who turns his face to the monster logo, monster drink. <laughs> and what happens? Uh -huh. He loses his what? Last two fights? Right. The people who... Well, was it his last two? Alone? I've been listening to a lot of what... Thought... Listen, man, Andrew Tate says... Two of the last 30. He comes, he yeah, two of the last three. Like, Andrew Tate will come out and straight up and say it. He's like, listen, I've turned down offers. Like, they come to me, they offer, they hate me now because I said no. And so now they're painting me like this big asshole. And yeah, he is an asshole, but for the right reasons. It's because he's saying the shit that they don't like you to say. So, I mean, he gets turned yeah, into this look, big he, uh, asshole. Everybody turned against him. He got what did arrested they get him again. For? He got Good, arrested again they... today. For like human trafficking, trafficking and they got him for well, trafficking. They tried to. Yeah, it's trafficking. They released him. He served his time. He went and did house arrest. He was in the clear. And then today again, they come and pick him and his brother up and they get arrested again. Wow. Here's, here's what I think. I think that like he leads on to it with the things that Sean was just referring to. But bottom line, he was a cam girl guy. He had like buildings set up that had a little pretty bedroom set in them with cameras. And they are the ones that like cam girl online and shit. I don't know exactly how much they charge for that shit, but that's how this motherfucker made all this money. And then he went up over there to where he's at now. I'm not going to say no names again. And was doing the same shit. But then it turns out some of those chicks come forward and say it was forced upon them. Could it be? Oh. Could it not be? Again, it goes back to the line, not there. Maybe they hijacked this motherfucker. Like his original message was different before he went to jail. Him and his brother both go to jail. Now all of a sudden they're out. That's the scenarios where it happened. It's like, it's like a snitch or just like, a, all right, look, we got your number. Here's your deal. This is going to happen to you or now you got to preach with the message we want you to preach. Oh yeah, but they're still saying the same pain in the ass message. They're still the same dicks to the fucking society. Well, and that's great. Um, they made a good point there too. When they got put into prison, they got put in prison together, like in the same cell. There's no world in where yeah, that they were together. They got put in together, so they were tapping the fucking cell so that they could hear what they were talking about. They were just trying to get them for information. Or just, they were already making them sweat. Or it's all a show. All a show. They hijacked him and made him look like martyrs. Like, that's, you know what I mean? Like, depends on what level you want to step off on. Sure, it depends on wherever you want to step off. Well, all layers. Oh, look. But I got one more. Uh, stuff, well. I got one more Ryan Garcia clip. I'm not going to play the whole thing. We'll, uh, if you want to watch the whole video, we'll put the info in our bio. Definitely check it out. I'm just going to play like the first minute or two. I, love when I came here to see. talk yeah. not as I'm um, frantic or chaotic or whatever, you know, people may assume that I am mentally ill. What, what did they say? I'm going through a manic episode or um, what, whatever they came about to, to try to, to try to make what I was saying, which was the truth, seem like it was a lie. They're trying to create confusion within the people to make it seem that anything I said was a lie. Mm -hmm. Everything I said was the truth. Prayers around the world, Lord, that you shine light on it and that you give me strength, you give me power only through you, Lord. Let the Lord's will be done, not mine. Okay. Amen. So with that being Lord, said, Lord. I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for anything. This does nothing for my fight. This is just me trying to give the facts and the truth of what I've seen throughout the years. And during this point and this time, there's a lot of eyes on me and I'm bringing awareness for the kids, the little kids that are hurting. I know you guys seen that video. I'm not even gonna say the name. But you know what I'm talking about. It starts with the J. And I'm trying to be as I'm trying to be as calm as I can. Trust me, I'm trying to be as calm as I can. And I'm trying to be as Yeah, I'm good with that, babe. That's enough. As safe as I can. You, 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 are you familiar with the uh, terminology what a Manchurian candidate is?
Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. He, okay. That feels to me Manchurian. He feels like set set there to set the narrative. I don't know. I could be wrong. Look, I have no idea. But look, that was the I got. That's, that's where I wanted to go from serious. I want to play a little bit because we all know how I feel about DeMar Hamlin and that situation. Uh-oh. Manchur? Uh-oh. <laughs> are we looking at we are we looking at Ryan Garcia? Nah. Or Ryan Garcia 2.0. They no, that was right after the stuff came out. No, that 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 was too quick. They couldn't have taken taking his ass out and replacing that quick. That was like the same. Have you day. seen Multiplicity? No, that was the that was it. Oh no. Have you oh, seen Multiplicity? Oh, I seen um they clone Yeah, I seen they clone Tyrone too. I know. I know. I know what you're saying. Have you seen you. the six have I you seen the you. six day? Of course. Okay. Yes. I, I know what you're saying, bro. I hear you. I'm just saying that was quick, no. That was very quick for them to like get him. He said they forced him to do some shit. He said they got him. They forced him to do some shit. Here's the thing. Either they did and that's not him. He wouldn't be saying the shit that he's saying. Exactly. Or they didn't and none of that shit happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, bro, at the end of the day, like, I'm not saying that he's a liar, but I will say that that shit's kind of out there. It's been out there for a while. So he's not telling anybody anything, anything new. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, exactly. Like, coming after me because he's a celebr celebrity. He's putting it out there, but it's not like that. Now, I don't think that. Listen, bro. They took out Anthony Bourdain. They've taken out. You know what? I I can name all kinds of names. I can name all kinds yeah. of names. But I'm just saying, like, you know what? I don't know, bro. I that Jewish fella with the half bro that they walked him off the bridge. Isaac. Yeah. Can't remember There's his a name. bunch. Isaac. Yeah, 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 Isaac. I don't think that he thinks that he's any different. He has a message now. Here's what I've heard, and this is kind of this kind of resonates with me. I know what it felt like when I first heard these theories and and everything, and you start telling everybody. It was like oh, I want to go gung ho with this because it hurts. It, it hurts your soul to know that it's happening, and you start telling motherfuckers. Right. But the problem is that they're not awake to it, so you start sounding it off of every wall that you can, and nobody's listening because everybody's either a hurt or b doesn't give a shit. So he, from what I understand, just started being illuminated to some of this shit. And I feel like he's using his platform to say, I know more than I do. Somebody, one of his really close friends said that he just watched like the video that opened his eyes to all of this, what's going on. And he's just losing his shit because he's on drugs, dude. That part I don't know about. But I do remember the feeling when I heard uh. this shit and I was like, listen, Rick, listen, anybody that'll listen. Um, and I know that kind of overzealous feelings. It seems similar to that, in my opinion. And it's good that he's bringing news to it. And that being said, if he's got the platform that he does and he starts talking about it too much, they are going to take about it, yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. He, he also like... said he was, he also mentioned he was raped, did he not? Yeah, I saw that too. I don't when know he about was all that, was too, like, That to me is kind of like, um, okay, I'd rather watch those. Like, I kind of believe that's it. why it felt weird. I kind of believe that's what I'm saying. that. If they did that shit. Why not just take the motherfucker out? Like, why rape him and then be like, go out there and tell motherfuckers about this? Like, I don't. I'm gonna say he said it was when he was like two years old or some shit. So that would have to go to his parents. And he's been a star since he was a little kid, though. Like Ryan Garcia's yeah. been in the public yeah. eye for a long very time. long time. So it's almost like he was like ready for that. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of give it a little like, bit of credence when it comes to that part. Yeah. Like he's young, bro. Wow. Like he's mid twenties. Like he's, yeah, he's super young, and he's been out there forever. Like I've known Ryan Garcia's name for no, at I least will say ten this. years. Like he is a good boxer. He's solid. He's That's very he's talented, and I've seen it. And he's got quick hands, so he's not deficient up here to be that good of a boxer and that calculated. Like he's, you know, what I'm saying Dang like who? I'm not saying that. You're not a oh. CPE baby. CPE is causing. The I'm just saying, like, he's got, like, he's actually very intuitive. He's a smart dude. So he's either playing some game or an answer. And Al, there's one thing that you said, and you said that it could be a clone. Would they allow him, would they let a clone praise God? And, like, to mock, pray? To mock like, God, that's yes. Not, oh, oh, no, no. That's how to you mock God, yes, were. Fair enough. Again, I didn't think about that. Like I, that's I a good started point. with. Very good point. 80s, what? Because ET mm -hmm. kind of ET e and War of the Worlds kind of started it. They wanted us to feel like aliens were like a hokey thing. You know what I mean? That's what's mm -hmm. starting to happen yeah. now. Something is super hokey is the Return of the Living Dead. Look at the premise of that movie. How they started it? Talking about, you know, they stop True Events. They give you some chemicals. Blah blah. I mean, 
They've been doing this for a long time now, guys, for a long time. Facts. And everybody keeps falling for it. That's why they keep doing it. Look mm-hmm. at uh, look at Stargate. One of my yeah. favorite examples is Stargate. And there's a, there's stories of actual portals and Stargates found all over the world and stuff. And they came out with Stargate. They're like, man, it's just this. Mm. And they made total bullshit of this. And it got a lot of people involved. A lot of people love Stargate. You mentioned portals. I mean, dude, uh-huh. something as recent as uh, the fall of the House of Usher. They told they told you what Pim where uh-huh. Pim was, what Pim saw. The world is fucking hollow. Uh-huh. I mean, again, believe what you want to believe. I mean, I like to have I, I like I yeah, like to have fun with shit, you know. <laughs> but to move on, uh, uh-huh. Ryan Garcia is going to knock Devin Haney out. Devin Haney's a bum. I don't know how you guys feel <laughs> about it. Oh. Uh, let me throw something else in there because I was watching the Breakfast Club talk about this, right? And like, for one, I didn't appreciate Charlemagne like dismissing him as like a mental health thing. I don't I didn't like appreciate Charlemagne, that dude. Because I don't, like I don't him. either. That no, nah, that makes me feel like that makes me feel He's like you might on be the Charlemagne the fucking is joke definitely that, because why? Why would that first thing you say? Yeah, yeah. And number two, they also floated the idea that oh, he might need some help or he's trying to duck Haney and I'm like why would he be ducking Haney didn't he fight Tank yeah he just fought Tank what like why would he duck Haney like, 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 who's sense. scared of Haney who's scared of Haney I mean, Lomach- Lomachenko whooped his ass they robbed Lomachenko to fight hey no offense to Haney man. Man. he's a great fighter too but why would he duck him not I'm a bigger fan like, why would he duck I'm boy, a bigger like, fan of your boy that point? Terrence Crawford just beat the hell up uh, uh, <laughs> Take it easy, okay? I don't even want to talk about, <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> I told you, I told you the last time we recorded this and we <laughs> talked about it. I don't want to talk about it again. Okay, what he, what happened with Errol Smith was bullshit, and you know it. Errol Smith was in a car accident, and he almost died. And then he got in that fight, and he got, I mean, hey, look. hey man. Bud is a beast, bro. I never said he was Earth, wet. I mean, Bud's like, he didn't have to Earth do it Spence, like that. You know, That's before what I was the accident was a beast, after the accident, He's a beast, you know, bro. But here's the thing, yeah. though. He still made the He's choice okay. to get into that ring Ooh. after the accident. Now, yeah, he didn't have to. Thank God he made it out right. of the accident, but he still made the choice. Now, if, if it's him or his people, whatever it is, and well, look, Bud, Bud didn't have to do Bud him like that. Bud needs to go in there That's and teach everybody he didn't have to do him like that. Right? Now, Parrish, that, Bud Crawford is the go. standing on business. <laughs> I'm standing on business. He might be. I mean, he he, he dismantled my guy, so. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it no more, bro. Move on you to the next. You don't just talk about it. Move on to the next. I told you I was done all this. <laughs> Long, dude, sir. Dude, Spence is his boy. You have no yeah. idea. You know, what kills me, Spence is his boy. Yeah. And Crawford is my <laughs> boy. You know, that's fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? That shit broke my heart, bro. I was like, I was upset for like a week, bro. Like, for real, for real. Like, we're like personal friends type shit. It's kind of like when an undercover Philly fan finds out that Saquon Barkley is coming to Philadelphia. Fuck oh, Giants. Let's do oh, that. So we're going to save that for another episode. This Hopefully. Guy, yeah, we'll talk about oh, it. Hopefully. We'll talk about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but to, before we move on, I will say this as a Giant fan, you know, I, I wish Saquon well. Of I'm course. not mad at him. Yes, Murray. I don't, I don't mm-hmm. blame him. No. I don't blame him. The Giants get your money, organization. Get your money. The Giants organization chose to play, a, you, you know, to pay a prankster like Daniel Jones instead of Saquon. So that tells me you wanted mm-hmm. the prankster more than Saquon. So, hey, dude, Saquon's from Pennsylvania. He went to Penn State. You know, that's his hometown. They're giving mm-hmm. him money. Go get uh-huh. your money, dog. He didn't take that much money, though, Al. He has. He went home, and he had the chance at a championship. That's all that mattered to him because he took, a, what, $11 million a year? Like, he didn't take shit. No, it was, that's a lot of incentives in there, though. He can, he can make it. I think it could be up to $45 million with incentive. 26, 26 is guaranteed. He would have never got that from New York because the Giants' philosophy, and I just, and I understand it. Like, they don't, coming from Buffalo, like, you see how the Bills are running. Quarterback, pass rush, and the Giants, whenever they won titles, it's usually a pass rush. The defense is good. I get it. And, like, I wanted to say, like, at the time it sucked, but, the trade for Brian Burns made it all make sense at that point. It's like that thirty million that you didn't give Saquon and Xavier McKinney, like you go get a top five pass rusher and you put him with Dexter Lawrence and you put him with Kayvon Thibodeau. Like your defense is gonna be fucking great. You gotta figure the quarterback out. 
We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. We'll, we'll, we'll. And I want to say too, I feel like the relationship with yeah. Saquon ended last year. As soon like, as you pay Daniel, yes. Hindsight, as soon as you pay Daniel, they, that, that yeah, relationship exactly. Was, but we'll they talk just, about that. But, yeah, exactly. I'm going to put the fr- franchise tag on him right then. There. Yeah. Last parts. But uh, Ryan Garcia is going to beat Devin Haney. Yeah. I don't know how do you guys feel, but staying, yeah. staying in the boxing. I agree. Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. That's oh, no. this shit. Well, yeah. Is this for real? Like, they got I saw the stipulations and shit. Like, what, head you know, say with all the stipulations and everything, like, this is actually a thing, right? Come on, bro. You gonna box me with pillows? Why do you want? You gonna box me with pillows? I don't need to get hurt. This is a great exhibition. I don't give a fuck. It's great for the sport of boxing. It's better to have an exhibition where you're gonna excite a bunch of people and make a bunch of money instead of it just be beating each other up. And I know you're going to yell at me, Alan. It's okay. It's going to be the most televised fight. It will. By far. Ever. It Probably will. ever. It will. Like, ever. Even when they, you know how they do the... Are they going to have you pay for it on Netflix, or is it going to be oh. streaming for free? If you on have Netflix, Netflix, you have Netflix, Netflix, that's it. You can watch it, but people are going to pick up Netflix because of this shit. Yeah, how, it. It. how many motherfuckers do you think, yeah. how many fake new Netflix subscriptions will get announced on fucking Sunday? Oh. The next day after the fight, <laughs> you, what do you? Oh, Netflix will go right back to the top. Ooh. Netflix heard it and said, "Done." We're, we, what? Greenlit? What? Greenlit? All right, Greenlit. Right. For say, anyone, <laughs> for anyone listening, I just want them to go back and watch Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. Show a clip, Mike. Twelve hours later, right? oh, not the normal chat to my uncle's fighting at the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Get your uncle out of there. Get him out. You can go meet me in the backyard. I'm tired of this. Roy Jones Jr. We're talking. The referee says, get me first. I got to hold him. <laughs> he said he's bringing his hand. I got to hold him. Oh, gee, Snoop Dogg, and look at this. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. That is essentially what you're going to get Whoa. in this fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't see the point of this. This, I don't think Jake yeah. can knock Mike out. So, mm-hmm. it's like, it, it, seriously, I don't think Jake and Mike can knock Mike out. Like, now, in his pride, in his pride, Jake wouldn't have made it, like, 45 seconds with Mike. Today, talking about where they're both at right now in terms of physical shape, he, Jake can't just knock Mike out. It's not going to happen like that. If he wins, it's going to be my decision. My call. Here's the thing. I'll say, Mike will destroy that motherfucker right now. Yeah, the mic we remember, 60, yeah, because he's going into this fight. I think he's going to be because his birthday is like twenty days before the fight is, so he'll be fifty-eight when they fight. The so, um, the mic we remember, the mic we love, the mic that we're fans of. Mike Tyson hates that Mike Tyson. Well, well, yeah. You saw that too. He yeah, doesn't want to be that. But he's Here. he's no. Go ahead. He said it himself. Yeah, he yeah. hates that person. Say it. He though. does not want to become that person. Well, he's well. scared of that person. His kids are scared of that person. His family is scared of that person. From then, Alex Van and Napoleon, I know them all. I read them all. I studied them all. I know the art of fight. I know the art of war. That's all I ever studied. That's why I'm so feared. That's why they feared me when I was in the ring. Because that's all my... I was an annihilator. That's all I was born for. And now those days are gone. It's empty. I'm nothing. I'm working on being the art of humbleness. Can you be with me? That's the reason why I'm crying, because I'm not that person no more. And I miss them. Because sometimes I feel like a bitch. Because I don't want to, I don't want that person to come out, because if he comes out, hell is coming with him. And it's not funny at all. It must sound cool, like I'm a tough guy. It's just that I hate that guy. I'm scared of him. So he never want to become, he, he never wants to become that person again. But think about so it. So again, we're, you know what I mean? And and look, whoa, whoa. he loves his own product. He's going to be nice and high going into the ring. Yeah, just go back and watch the Roy Jones fight. Look at Mike Tyson's face going into the ring. I mean, granted, he was holding back, just, you know, hitting him in the body, because I think in the contract there was like a, a no knockout clause, because, I mean, I think Roy would still be in the hospital if no. still cyber- Mike Tyson. Yeah, he, he'd be dead. Bro, he didn't kill Roy Jones. No, he would have killed him, bro. Be, he held it. Yeah, he'd have killed him. 
if Mike if it's free if yeah, I, love I have Netflix, Netflix back to revert sorry I didn't mean to take it from you no 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 go ahead I'm just saying if Mike gets in there and for any reason reverts back and he still has that in there you know what I'm saying he's still in that shape he can still punch Gabe said the same thing probably flat body. I'm saying if he ends up flipping back into that mindset and you know what I'm saying he's bit off ears my dudes like this yes guy, yes get into that animalistic state and if he Ooh. does that dude's going down like Ooh. quickly like, he will get knocked the hey, fuck out i am i am i am willing to openly admit that i will watch anything fight anything i get it that. doesn't matter yeah yeah i get that whether it's people animals like Normal. when i watch a lion rip a hyena apart in my mind that is a black powerful man taking Jesus. down a filthy racist when he rips that hyena up. That's what I'm thinking when I see that. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? That's just, you know what I mean? Then, you Fair know, enough. they post up these dog Fair fights, enough. and I'm like, I hope this doesn't make me look like Michael Vick. I mean, granted, I'm just watching a video. Like, some of these dog fights are vicious. I mean, Cats, look. look. Dude, I'll watch a lizard's fight. Cats will fuck you up. Are you kidding me? All skin was popular as fuck. Yeah, why you know anything <laughs> for a reason? Lions, like, lions, tigers, cougars, leopards. Like, I got watched a video of an Indian dude who fell in the zoo the other day, and this fucking Big cat cats. fucked with him for like fifteen minutes, on him and shit, and he probably just grabbed him by the neck and ran up the fucking hill. But to the to the point of with the Tyson thing, though, to get back to the point, the flip of the coin to that is this: Tyson, you know, I'm like. If any of you guys know who Andy Kaufman is, I know it's a little pre-time to a lot of people who watch the fucking internet. He had a whole shtick where people really didn't know if what was going on was legit or not. Like, like fooling the audience type of thing, and it expanded beyond exactly where he was broadcast, right? And so if this whole Tyson thing, Tyson could legitimately pretend, you know what I'm saying, play the role, turn it into sports entertainment, and become that crazy fuck again. For the role. You remember like Zeus. Like when Zeus. You remember who Zeus is right? Tiny Lester. Right? When he came out in WWF back in the day and shit and fought Hogan. You you thought the motherfucker was retarded. Like he legitimately thought he was fucking cross-eyed and retarded. He wasn't. But they did a really good job selling that. And man. Could you Mm -hmm. imagine if Tyson does that now with this whole Jake Paul thing? Jake's like. Oh Tyson. You just go fucking crazy on me. Like I'll do some shit. And then you just fuck me up and like damn near kill me. And it's like. They'll be the talk of the town for ten years. That was, I mean, oh, if it's, you know, I have Netflix, so it's I mean, going to be all. free. I'll watch it, but I mean, I know, I know it's going to be a bore fest. And so I'm, I'm not a fan of the boring shit. Nah, oh, yeah. I like the Super Bowl. Bro. Listen, it's already got its step ahead of Connor and oh, Floyd Mayweather. All of everybody the watched the that spectacle, shit. Man. That shit was that was absolutely, shit. and that was a, and that was a good fight. That, that was, was a great fight. fight. This is a good fight. A sixty-year-old Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. It was the first thing I crossbreed, and it was kind of like, stop himself going back. You gave it that kind of leeway. You're like, okay, okay, we'll play with this. And, but it wasn't a great fight by any means. It was cool to see. How much does Jake Paul walk around at? Uh-uh. But yeah, like, people were taking Lagrange. 189. Close to 200. Like people were taking nah, Lagrange to win that fight. It's close to 200. It's crazy. It's like 215, I think. All right. Well, we're and not going to. I'll tell you. I keep talking. What was the question? Hey, look up, look up how much Jake Paul weighs, and then well, well, yeah. see how much Bud Crawford weighs. I mean, Jake right Paul. Too. If Jake Paul wants to impress me, fight Terrence Crawford. Hell, never. I mean, he's not gonna like fight him though. He will fight. He he has has fight. And, and he's he not gonna fight a real boxer, bro, or like an active. That's boy. why he probably won't count. Tommy, yeah. 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 Um, Dude, are you ready? Um, Matt, 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 brother. Matt, yeah. Right now, according to 199, 199.4, he's gotten pretty big. I mean, Jake Paul, he's gotten pretty big. That's 200 pounds, yeah. I mean, Bud, Bud Crawford don't, doesn't have to gain that much weight. So, so if he no. wants to impress me, fight Bud Crawford. But what is Mike yeah, like weigh? One, Mike gotta be Bud's 250. Mike's like a lot weight, though, ain't it? So good. Like, so Mike good usually fought yeah. at like 219, 220. I'm talking about now, but you're right. But what, what about now? he was a he was a he was, he was uh-huh. heavyweight, and then did he ever fight super heavyweight? I don't know. But he's got no, no, he, forty pounds. He's, he's always been he's always been around like the two nineteen two old like between yeah, two old five and two nineteen. They're gonna lie about his weight then, because that he fucked. I believe man, it's been so he long. fought cruiserweight, didn't he? I can't call. It. I feel like he fought. I only saw that cruiserweight. 
because Holyfield was a cruise away for a long time. I would have lost, I would have get some people back then too, so I get it. I was gonna say, I don't blame him for biting Holyfield's ear with all that goddamn headbutt Holyfield was doing. You'll I mean, bite somebody now. I'm gonna say, like, the biting the ear, exactly. I'll eat your all children that damn thing. Like, I'll eat your kid. That's... I'll eat your kid. I'll eat your kid. I'll eat your kid. I'll eat your kid. Mm. Like, that's crazy. He said one of those reporters, he's like, I've been over and fucking your ass right now. Yeah. 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 He should do it. Oh, yeah. He's, he's nuts. He's, 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 he's matured, <laughs> but he's still not. Well, like, here's the thing. He's smoking weed now. He's smoking weed now. He's gotten away from the cocaine. And you're a lot of trouble. What? And the he's mushrooms. fucking psilocybin mm-hmm. by damn mm-hmm. chocolate bars daily. He doesn't want to eat shrooms. That's not even a legend. That's forty dollars. He's toy. He was on shrooms when he was on it on an internet with somebody. He's like, "Are you on shrooms right now?" He's like, "Hey, hey, 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 hey man, you want some things?" Him like, <laughs> him and all of us, him and somebody. I forget who he's talking. The game. It was the game. It was the game. It was the game. It was the game. Mm-hmm. He got the game to eat fucking psilocybin mushroom bars with him, and they were eating. Them oh. Like, Oh my god, it was insane. Tell wow. him that. Peer pressure by Mike Tyson. Here we are. Grilling and everything. Mm. Mm-hmm. Good, man. This hey, is right. We're gonna ride together, man. Hey, when Mike tell you to take strong, you take strong. <laughs> mm. Mm. Now, I'm not e- I'm not eating or any I'm not eating or smoking anything. <laughs> no, I can't. Why not? If it ain't my weed, I ain't smoking. Like, no thanks, dog. I'm good. Because I see like, how those like, videos end up later. Mm-hmm. Right. No thanks. Oh, Mike Tyson only beats up girls. And, and then guys are the rig. <laughs> uh, but before we move on to the UFC, Francis and Ganu. Ah, uh, yeah. He no, needs to wrap no. it up. Yeah. Go back to the MMA, bud. All right, D Dog. So here's, here's, you know, matchup, you know, you yeah. know. You, you know, matchups yeah. are, are motherfuckers when I say that. Man, free. to see the way he handled to Whoa. see to see the way he handled Tyson Fury, who in my opinion is one of the best heavyweights. He fucked him up though. Still, even though Tyson won. Oh man, Joshua just he put him to sleep. Wolf. He he looked lost. He never recovered from the first knockdown, bro. He never you know, recovered. He got the fuck out. Yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. That's tough, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. No. He was, yeah, he was like out, out. Like, you need to sleep. Like, that man, that up. was just, that and was, that was hard to watch. That's crazy. It, it was, was hard to watch. Sad. He literally got That's folded such. like a launcher. Hey, Joshua can dispel oh! the MMA champion in his life. And is the biggest shot I have seen live. That's... What a right hand that was! Incredible, and you can see the leg completely buckled. <laughs> Art right here. Then I agree with Matt. It's time to go back to the uh, mixed martial arts, bro. Like it's cool. You did this. Yeah, they, he talked a lot of shit. And well, I don't know if he talked a lot of shit. This is fun. Here's the thing, though. Dana White. Dana White did want to pay him. Okay, Dana. And not only that, Dana White did want him boxing while he was in the UFC. He were not allow these guys to do that kind of thing. So it's like he let kind of do it. Yeah, you see, that's a different yeah. story though. That's a For way different reason. story though. Yeah, he's white. Knew you were gonna bring that in. What? Black power. I mean, he 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 could I mean, he could literally either pay these guys or yeah, allow them to do shit outside. That's not. Cause I mean, it's not really good. Art. And oh, I can also allow that. <laughs> but I wonder if this hurts his negotiations, though. If, if he was to come back, getting knocked out like that. Well, I don't, I don't think he'll go back to the UFC. He'll probably go back to one of those other MMA league. Wins and losses don't matter. What matters is is how many people are coming to see that fight. It, that's what matters. It doesn't. But I mean, listen. I mean, it doesn't affect it. But can knock the fuck out. Does like it definitely is going to decrease oh, the popularity. Of, no, like that guy. Yeah. No, it's got to decrease. It's going to decrease your numbers in Vegas, but people still want to see you if you run your mouth. You you could take any of these most. Yeah, and it was boxing. You know, it was a guy stepping out of MMA. Ali, oh bro, really not going to have that. I just don't fight a badass role anymore. Well, you might not win a belt, but if you can sell mm-hmm. tickets, you can get sure, sure, sure. Because everybody, everybody still wants to see 
Francis Indanu, because I hear a lot of people mispronounce his name. Indanu is how you pronounce it. I'm going to be hot for a, for a while. Right. I mean, he still keeps performing, right, right in that sense. Yeah. I mean, I'm people, not saying... People want to see... Rocky lost, you know, They want to see him and uh, Bones fight. They want to see that fight. I I wanted to, but I Ooh. don't now. John Jones is going to destroy yeah, that. It man. has to happen. Yeah, I think he would have done that either way. John Jones oh, is I think he would have done that either way. I mean, he's going to kill Stipe, too. I can't wait. I can't wait until he kills... I love Stipe. I can't wait until he kills Stipe, though. Yeah, and if Tom Aspinall thinks he's something, he's got something colorful. And yeah, that he Tom Aspinall probably has the closest shot, maybe. If if there's any kind of, you know, if Jones, just I don't know, I really don't see it at this point. I, I hate to him. say it, but I I really don't see anybody beating Jones at this point. You know, no. the man's he well, literally, even though his record says one loss, he's never lost. Well, well. No, he's never lost. Although, Never actually, lost. you know what? Let me rewind that. Dominic Reyes did win that fight, but the judges gave it to Jones. So, what's Jones's you know, record? Yeah. What's his record? They still. What it's uh, like twenty eight and one. Let's well, argue. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Twenty eight and one. What do you listen? And that one is because uh, he fought that deaf guy, and hit him. Yeah, yeah. It was an illegal hit. So and yeah, hit. yeah, yeah. Illegal elbows. Oh, deaf guy is man, saying, got him. in his ass or something. Well, yeah, he was. He was fumbling in that. That's not bad. Hopefully, Ngannou uh, is okay. Whoa. Makes his way back. Yeah, you know. And as far as uh, the... Hey, man. Shout out to Anthony Joshua. I mean, I knew you have power, but damn. I didn't know he could do that. I mean, he's good as long as you don't hit him in the chin. Yeah, but have you seen the year devil? That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get it all right. Oh, man. But this last UFC card, we had, uh, I don't even know if you got I don't want to like disrespect you, other guys. Mm-hmm. Peter Yan versus Song Yong Dong. Peter Yan won that side. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sung Young Dong. Is that right? <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, song. <laughs> it's Song Young Dong. But that's his name. Like... Song Young Dong. Oh, yeah. That's his name. I'm not, I'm not disrespecting the guy. I don't want him to come beat me up. No, bro. You're Asian. You can say it. You're Asian. Yeah. So you're yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you I'm half Asian. Asian. <laughs> you look not like people it's, it's, about it's, your name. <laughs> oh, I don't want especially from yeah, the right. waist down, I'm half Asian. Yeah, yeah, song Young Dong lost that fight. Continue. Continue. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert Burns. I'm I'm not shocked by that fight, honestly. I've smoked. Yeah, I think Gilbert's done, man. He uh, it, yeah, I asked he was staying away from. He was staying away from what he's good at. He was yeah. trying to throw hands, and he should have took that board to the mat. And I feel like he had it. Yeah, that got- was brutal. Yeah, man, that was brutal. That Gilbert was brutal. Burns got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. yeah he did. When uh-huh. night, night. Then Michael Venom Page making his uh-huh. UFC debut. I'm against... not impressed. I'm not impressed Kevin, with that point. Kevin Holland is one of my dudes, man. You know, I'm a big fan of that guy. That guy will fight anybody, anytime, That's... anywhere. It doesn't matter. It's Spider-Man. From the but Venom Page won that via the uh, unanimous decision. I'm Again, not impressed like, with that fight. Yeah, like, man, I wasn't too impressed. But I've seen him fight in the other organization. You know, it's... He's awkward, oh. but you know he's not bad. He's a kickboxer. That's yeah. what he's yeah, good yeah. at. Like Muay Thai style. Now the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's yeah, he's real. He's real right? awkward. If you think Kevin Holland, yeah, yeah, yeah. middleweights. If you think Kevin Holland is awkward, like Michael Venom Page is even oh, no. more awkward on his feet. I mean, you could um, tell Holland was pissed at the end of the fight. He's like, oh, dude, no. are we gonna fight or what? Yeah, that was yeah. kind of a bore fest. But man, Woo. the co-main event. Yeah, hey. we. Yeah, buddy. Oh my hey, fucking man. Happy. He's, he's one of the baddest motherfuckers. That ever, is my bro. guy. The baddest yes. motherfuckers alive. Oh, he is. He keeps They're, proving it. He's he is. Got a good ha- He just keeps. He just keeps proving it every fucking fight. He's one of the baddest motherfuckers alive, bro. Is this Frenchman? I mean, granted, you know, this Frenchman was whooping everybody's ass. This guy's forces. Yeah, yeah. Honest percent finish rate. 
This guy was kicking everybody's ass. And dude, he was beating Dustin mm-hmm. up for a little bit. Like he was and running he was getting shots off. Yeah, he was getting <laughs> shots off. Oh, yes, he was. But then Dustin's Dustin, tough, though. Whew. I think that Lord. gets like swept under because of the highlight finishes and shit. He's tough as shit, too, bro. Like, you'd have to kill him. No, <laughs> you'd have to fucking kill he's him. Got, he's got Vince. He's got killer runs. Oh, he's fucking yeah. gagey, dude. He does a right kind of shit. shit. I'm so yeah, not gonna be no easy. No, he's yeah. conditioned. He's yeah. kind of gone through some shit. He'll take even like a motherfucker. Like, and he doesn't often mm-hmm. have to, but he can when yeah. he gets dished out. And he's a renegade, bro. Like, he's a fucking kamikaze. He, oh, he doesn't yeah. care about his own safety. Like, he's just, he's just going <laughs> no, in there he doesn't. to bang. That's the why way. I love the dude. That's why I love That's the dude. Yeah. Like, That's why I die. I die. Yeah. He hey, fuck it. We talked about it before. You know what I'm saying? The first time I picked up on Poirier was when he whooped. And I'll talk about it again. I know you're going to dislike this, but when he whooped up on Connor, I like the fact that he picked away at Connor's, like, at the time, one week this. He went legs and he started kicking the shit out of this dude because he's got legs. So he went with legs and Connor had to come out of that shell and attack him. And he's a badass attacker, too. I mean, maybe not as good as Connor, but by that point, Connor is fucking kind of fucking like Freddy. Like, he came out and he came out hard. And Poirier just out fucking Whoa. out showing him at that point. So I mean that's impressive. And if you see, and if you saw the pre fight stuff, all that counter stuff and you know, all the alleged rape rape allegations in Ireland. So you know, mm-hmm. I was rooting for Dustin. I was rooting to see Dustin yeah. beat him up. And, you know, Gaethje again just has bombs yeah. in his hands, dude. And he does not yeah. <laughs> He's a killer. True definition mm-hmm. of a Spartan dude, just looking yeah. for that beautiful yeah, death. He in doesn't the ring, care about dude. his own safety, bro. Those are the most dangerous people in the world. Mm-hmm. The ones that don't care about themselves like that. You don't want to fight him. He'll die in that ring. No, he'll kill you, but no. kill himself at the same time, bro. Ain't <laughs> <Two bucks. laughs> nothing you can do with him. Ain't nothing you can do with him, bro. Oh, Al, I wanted to say, you see, it can be that um, choke his ass to sleep, bro. Because if he had him in that arm yeah. bar, and he said, if I would have kept it, I would have had to break his arm. Because he's not going to tap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I had to like choke him out. Yeah. Like, he, he's not going to give up, bro. You got to kill him. Well, but continue. I'm sorry. Yeah, mm-hmm. but... <laughs> my mind sucks. <laughs> I'm like, I've, I've said that about him. I'm like, sitting here, I had him in a chicken wing. I was like, am I going to have to break this motherfucker? <laughs> 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 I was like, shit. I don't want to break this dog. He's like, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm never, then, no, man, get up. We're done. This, this was a different topic. <laughs> that just takes me back to fucking tell the day good nights. My <laughs> man had Will Ferrell's arm hemmed up. <laughs> He was like, break it. I'm not going to say it. No, nope. break it, Pepe Le Pew. As you wish. <laughs> I wake up with just excellence, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like little pancakes. They're like little pancakes. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, Sugar put on a show. I mean, even though he didn't finish Cheeto, he put on a show. Kept yeah. his belt. I mean, he and did all he could. That's never been knocked down yeah. or something, right? Good about that. Uh, Still, I yeah, can't they never been knocked He's got nine. He lost, mm. but he's, he's got nine knocked losses. Down from what I shit, he got knocked down the other day. I don't know how the hell he survived yeah. that knee. That knee came bro, from hell, bro. Bro, he got knee in the fucking his head. Dude, ninety-five percent of us in this world would be that sent oh, to the bro. shadow realm. Please, bro. You... <laughs> and he just kept bro, fighting. It sounded made. <laughs> Yeah, it was. It sounded yeah, like a baseball that was bat. Gnarly, bro. And he caught him ducking down. Whoa! He just bro. ate that. something. Definitely broke oh, yeah. in his face. Something in his face. He is ate that shit. I mean, oh, know, it, spiders are ones that could take hits. I mean, that's a huge thing. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker can take a hit. Yeah. That fucking. Knee, I I guarantee you that's fucking shine on. Shono Valley oh. fucking knees 9.9% of any human alive right now in the fucking face. Not only are they hitting the fucking ground, not getting up, and he wins his match called. Like, they're, they're still sitting in the hospital right uh-huh. now trying to figure out how to eat Oh, him. dude. Yeah. Did you notice yeah, that he, he hurt hit. Sean at oh. the end of the fight? With that body yeah. angle? If, if he, he hurt him. Around this yep. story. Mm-hmm. Now, that was a clean <laughs> shot, but it was just too late. That motherfucker, like, sat just on the mat afterwards, like. That shit hurt, bro. Matt, didn't you call it? Matt, didn't you say it was going to come to a decision, though? I feel like in the last show when we talked about, well, the last show that we talked about the upcoming uh, events, 
you said something about you think O'Malley would win, but that he wouldn't knock him out. Right? Didn't you say that? That's a good call. I don't know, I Cheetos, because Cheetos a killer yeah, like bro. that. That's facts. He's never been knocked out before. Yeah, but he put he's a monster. He put a master class on though. Sean did. Mm-hmm. That was... Yeah. He whooped up uh-huh. on him. He gave thing he had. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, precision, bro. Precision, punching, keeping him at like he was just making him fight the fight he wanted him to fight. And, like. Well, he, he more could, loose. Yeah, and Cheeto he can get in. The yeah, was the thing, and he wouldn't let Cheeto get close to him. I mean, that's smart, though. Yeah, yep. Man, yeah, he yeah. got the length. Why not? He's built. He's built to do that. Yeah. He's built <laughs> to do that for that division. Sharn is a oh, beast, yeah. bro, and he keeps getting. I was Great. watching the post fight. Like they were saying, DC was saying, like he keeps getting better. Like each fight, he's gotten better every like, fight. That mm-hmm. shit's scary, bro, because he's already the champ and he's already great. Yeah, we so. talked. It's the trajectory thing. It's all mm-hmm. about trajectory. Oh yeah. Gosh, but if he has to fight Marab, oh, that's yeah, that's Divashali. Divashali will beat his ass, I think. That's a, yeah, that's, that's a, a scary one. It's gonna be a good one. That's, yeah, that's gonna the top be styles right there. Any, I think from every single one of them, he's absorbing talent from the best, and you're just like, hey, this guy's going. <laughs> yeah, as long as he doesn't wait up too fast, he'll. I think he'll do pretty good for longevity. But if he tries to wait up too fast, then some dudes are gonna get hold of him. That's not even the problem. It's just this dude who's got the next title shot is yeah. He's a wild animal in that That's ring. That's true. He, mm-hmm. Was it? He's going to test. Marab Divashali. Yeah. He's going to test Sean's, yeah, yeah. Um, his takedown defense. He's definitely going to test that. Because he hasn't really That's been tested. Thing. That's You yep. know, it hasn't really, he hasn't had to do that. And Marab will do yes. that. Yes. He's definitely going to. That fight yeah. has to, if Sean wants to win that fight, they need to stay standing up. Facts. 100% yeah. agree. 100%. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. going to be a good one. Well, look, that's definitely going to be a good one. Well, I was like, can't yeah. wait to see that one. So I'll leave it up to you guys. We got about five minutes. Mm-hmm. Did you want to discuss any football? Or did you want, want Alan, or, did you, or, or did you want to talk yeah. basketball fantasy? Well, you know, know. let me hurry, split it up real quick. I'll jump right into it. Fuck it. Listen, the, the, the moves that have made That's over the last, like, hours. There has definitely been a lot of moves made in the last 36 hours. Obviously, we know tomorrow is like, what is it tomorrow at noon or the, the next day? Thursday or Friday uh, at noon starts the, the actual official. like this. Oh. So, so they have to do these certain things uh, to uh, control what their money looks like going into the season. And a lot of teams, even though they're not like big moves, like all the memes that were well, not memes, but all like, um, like when I get stuff. Uh, from certain leads that I trust and I send them to you guys. Um, those th- those are like a big thing. But there's a lot of small stuff that's been going on too in terms of like restructuring deals. Like what we saw last year, the year before in terms of restructuring deals, wait till wait till the see like we get a little bit more into fucking spring training, so to speak, for football. Like once we get into that preseason time area, you guys are gonna see like we're gonna break records on what happened in terms of, of mm-hmm. guys in their contract so the teams can meet um, certain criteria in terms of the salary cap. So these teams are going to... I'm so excited about football for next season. Y'all, I can't wait. I can't the fucking salary, wait. The, the salary cap happened. skyrocketed this, this year. They weren't expecting that. It went up, what, $30 million or some shit like that? Twenty five. Oh, no. like, that it wasn't expected. 33% or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, that, When's the get, draft? Uh, Again, end of April. End of yeah, April. April. Okay. Well, um, right after four twenty. It's usually around basketball playoffs. Level. Yeah, basketball gotcha. playoffs start in April. <laughs> hey, like there's April. One, well, there's one thing I do want to um, talk about: Al's boy getting that bag again, bro. Her cousins, man. This man, God, he getting these contracts, contracts, bro. <laughs> Anna, bro. Hey, hey, shout out to Kirko, bro. Million dollars, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Kurt, Kurt, bro. He be getting the bag, man. If you can protect this man, he's gonna he's gonna perform, bro. Okay? If you can protect this man, he's gonna perform. And think of it this way: if Minnesota had a terrible offensive line. Yes, terrible offensive line. Ready? He had a great good one. Yeah, no, the he Falcons had good have players. a good offensive oh, line without him. They have all pros all over that line. Serves better. So, with all Kurt that Jones, being said. This is like his him. to lose. This Falcons is his to lose. Sleeper. They're a sleeper. They can come out. They can come out the NFC. 
I, I would say it early. They can do it. That no, no, I agree. It was a good move for both sides. Definitely, Kirk's going to get his in bag like you worded it, and, and Atlanta's going to get a, a quarterback that's going to probably take them to the playoffs this year if he stays healthy. Um, oh, and boy. and then look, Josh Jacobs moves. Oh, absolutely. Right. Oh, how about how about Russell Wilson? Like it's the Denver Broncos are going to pay thirty-eight million dollars. That's crazy. Well, I'm so glad because you know, look, I want to hear you say it. Where's Russell Wilson playing this year? The Steelers. Pittsburgh, dog. <laughs> so he's going to go to the Northeast and play for the pussy ass like, Northeast. I'm glad dance. he did not come to the Giants. Oh, bro. Uh, sis, I my sister was a little disappointed, that, but I'm glad. Oh, I wish I'm he would have. Where's he playing? I'm with you, Al. I'm with you. If he would have went to New York, I'd have been like, what the fuck are we doing? Like, how many <laughs> bad quarterbacks do we need? <laughs> like, what the hell, bro? I mean, I hope he does well in Pittsburgh. No, I mean, the infrastructure is good. You guys need to figure out something with Daniel yeah. Jones and get in a good quarterback because Daniel Jones is not the answer. I'm saying that now. now Daniel Jones is out after this year. This it's a one year contract. He's gone. No, but the Giants made a move, bro. They got Drew Lock. I don't That's know what that means. But... I, I'm sad that we lost Andrew Van Ginkle. <laughs> but I know that you know he he got way more money than we, he would have ever been able to get in Miami. Yeah. So I'm happy for him. Yeah. But it was funny when you guys mm-hmm. you guys ever watch the Miami season part of hard knocks you'll see she was like listen i it like li- literally she was in his ass every week telling him to go out there and get stats and shit like like she was like this like how <laughs> sean and i are she was like this is during hard knocks and the interview and sitting on their fucking couch because he you know he was making like league minimum this year right like he's never made no money before they came from shit they don't never had shit and she ain't never been nowhere so she came to miami and she's like listen you got to do whatever you got to do you just gotta make sure that they sign you. You do. We're not going nowhere. My girls. And she starts talking about her little clicks. It's fucking hilarious. It's fucking great. You gotta watch. Hey, that's it. all yeah. the time we have, guys. That's all the time yeah. we have, folks. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please feel free. If you guys are looking for any artwork, please feel free to hit my nephew Nate up. You'll see his info in our bio as well. If you want to watch the rest X. of that Ryan Garcia video, that link will be in our bio as well. Also, our boy Sean Thanks. is into timeshares now. His info is in our bio if you want any timeshares, so hit this motherfucker up if you need it. Thanks. Right on, right on. Mm-hmm. And be sure to check out our intro, outro track. It's called Trap Sax by an artist named Mish. You can find his music on YouTube and SoundCloud. Right on. Thanks for joining us. I'm Al, Marcus, Sean, Rick, and Matt. And happy birthday shout out to our soon-to-be interns, Danica and Delilah. Let's go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah.